Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to install the Brave browser to your Fire Stick. The whole setup is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. Now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get Brave browser to your Fire Stick. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search on your device and here in the search bar start typing Downloader. And as you can see, here today is already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on Downloader, and that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after you get Downloader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up Downloader, we gotta go to Settings. So here they are. Click on that button with a gear icon. Then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. Here we'll have to enable developer options on our device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and from here make sure to turn that option on for the loader. So what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on our device, here it is, open it, and there's the downloader application, which we just got to our device. However, before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, and they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, Let's say I will connect to France right now, and from the moment we connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important, if you wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your computer or your mobile phone, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you three months of NordVPN for free. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So let's open the loader. On the left side menu, make sure to click on Home, that's important. And here in the search bar, we'll have to enter a code, which is going to be 7, 2, 1, 2, 3, and 5. So once again, the code is 7, 2, 1, 2, 3, 5. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, the code is not going to work. After that, let's click on Go. And now a website has opened for us, we have to scroll down until we see that red download APK button. It has to look exactly like this one. Make sure not to click on any ads which may look similar to this download button because that would mess everything up for you. So look for the button which looks exactly like that download APK and now click on it. Then if any ad pops up for you, make sure to click on close. And in a couple of seconds, the download should start for you. Usually it does not take long, but of course, as always, it all depends on your connection speed. Here just click on install and wait until Brave Browser gets installed to your Fire Stick. After that, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way it will be able to delete the unnecessary installation file. So click on delete, and then delete once again. Now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, here it is, open it. Scroll down to the bottom and there is the Brave Browser which we just installed. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way Brave Browser is always going to be at the very top of your application list. After that just open the app, 
here at the very beginning it might look like a gonna be mobile phone version instead of TV version, but that's fine, in a couple of clicks we'll get the TV version for your device. Here you just click on continue, there you just click on not now, click on the back button here, and as you can see it's actually the TV version of the app. And now to fully utilize the application you have to connect a Bluetooth mouse to your device. Previously it was possible to use a mouse tag application, however it's not working anymore on Fire Sticks, sadly. So get any Bluetooth mouse, connect to your device and feel free to use the Brave browser.